Hey YouTube, I'm Kishan and in today's video, I'm gonna show you some of the best VS Code extensions I use to extend my productivity. If you are a web developer, you should watch this video to the end. It's gonna help you in the long run. So without wasting any further time, let's get started. So the first extension we are gonna talk about is Quokka.js. Quokka makes exploring, learning and testing JavaScript blazingly fast. By default, no config is required. Simply install the extension and open a new Quokka file and start experimenting. So I have created this JavaScript file. So what this extension will do is it will output the answer right beside your code. So here you can see that there is a console.log uh, statement. You can see the answer of that console.log right beside your code. You don't have to open the terminal and run your file. So it is very helpful. Then we have this gutter indicators. We have this green indicator which signifies that uh, all of the uh, code was executed by Quokka. There was no error. Then we have this orange indicator which means that only partial code was executed then we have this white indicator which means that the line of code was never executed you can remove that then we have this red indicator which shows that there is some error and you can also see the error here right beside your code in the red color then whenever you have this large object you can console that and if it is not visible here you can open this Walby tools Coca value explorer and you can see the data from here so this extension is very helpful and this has to be in your arsenal next extension we are going to talk about is the live server this extension is very helpful if you are a beginner just install the extension and you will see this go live icon at the bottom of the vs code this one so what this extension does is uh, when you click on this button it launches a development local server with live reload capabilities for static and dynamic pages so let me show you that i'll go to the index.html and i'll click on this uh, go live so you can see that it opened this live server on port 5500 now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna change this to hello and just save it and you can see that it automatically reloaded the page and the changes are here so this extension is very helpful try it out so the next extension we are gonna talk about is prettier Prettier is a code formatter, whether you are a beginner or an experienced developer, Prettier is a must-have tool in your arsenal. So what this plugin does is whatever code you have written, it just formats it and you will have the same code style to all of your files. So install this and enable it. Now head over to your any of the uh, HTML files and you can see that here in this example, this code is very bad formatted. So when I will save this file. Prettier will automatically indent it so it looks much cleaner so it helps very much. As a result your code looks much cleaner and other people can understand it easily. So the next extension we are going to talk about is the ES7 plus React Redux React Native Snippets. This extension is very helpful as it provides some ready-made snippets which are useful in daily coding. You must have seen in my videos how fast I make React components. So it is this very extension which helps me do that. You have many things you can try as per your need. Let me show you some of them. So you have to install this extension. Now uh, go to the down of this page and click on this link snippets and it will uh, redirect you to their uh, github documentation page here they have provided a very nice cheat sheet you can see that there are this basic methods then the, we have this react snippets then we also get react native snippets and redux snippets then we also get some console snippets so let me show you a demo of that i'll head over to this demo.js and i'll create a class component by rce so you see that how simple it was to create a class component i'll also create a functional component by rfc so this extension is very helpful so now we are going to talk about my theme many people have asked that what theme i use in my code editor so it is the community material theme you can install this then after setting this as your default theme uh, you can see that it has the dark background and every block of your code has some different colors which helps you write and debug code more efficiently. So this is the HTML file. Then we have also the script file which has the JavaScript code. 
So that's it for the video. Make sure to like this video and comment down if you need more of VS Code extensions. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next one.